Hello everyone, how are you doing? You're very welcome to this week's Rugby View with myself, Aidan Raftery. And of course, as always, we have uh, Adrian Neddy. Hello, Adrian. How are you? Adrian, how are you? Are you well? Good afternoon, Aidan. Great, uh, great to have you on board, and uh, as always. And uh, we've been talking about Ireland's uh, great victory um, later on in the podcast. But just to start off, as we always do, with the youth side of uh, rugby club, of uh, Craig's Rugby Club, and uh, we start off with the mini, with the... Uh, with the mini team, mini rugby team, and uh, there has been a, a school blitz going on as well, and uh, attracted a four, over four hundred children. That's a that's a, 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 a that's great to see, isn't it? Absolutely, you know, like it's uh, fabulous for all the schools in in the in the locality and and the surrounding area of uh, Craig's Rugby Club uh, to have that amount of schools. And all, all credit to our CRO, uh, Miha Glennon. In uh, in coordinating that along with uh, with with the schools, it's uh, you know it's it's a great achievement. It's uh, something else that um, that uh, is handled between the schools, uh, between Craig's and uh, the kind of rugby. And it's great to have the facilities, the number of pitches that you can cater for that uh, size of a turnout. That's it, because I mean, as everyone knows, anyone that has been to Craig's and and seen the wonderful facilities out there, there's what five, four or five pitches, and uh, there's uh, yeah, plenty there's, of dress rooms uh, as well. Three, three grass, three grass pitches and a four G pitch. Yeah, uh, plenty, plenty of room, plenty of room uh, for for games. Yeah, at that level. That's it. And moving on to uh, so it, it was great uh, to see so many kids on the day, and of course. They're inspired by how well Ireland are doing at the moment. Uh, obviously, a great start to the a great start to the Six Nations campaign. A, a good w- win over Wales. Pro- probably thought was maybe expecting a bit more from Wales, but uh, you know it's good to kind of, kind of come through um, a game like that. And uh, you know with the with the first uh, with a bonus point win, which was which was even better. A good win, which is great, but a bonus point. Uh, you know, bonus points can be can decide whether you know you win the Six Nations or not. It could, it could come down to fine points like that. The, the bonus point wins could come back to uh, could be important. Yeah, uh, Ireland went down all guns blazing, and hit 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 Wales very hard from the very beginning and uh, built built up a big score in 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 the first half. Uh, totally silenced uh, the Welsh crowd. Yeah. Uh, I'm told that after the first five minutes, you, you the Welsh crowd nearly, uh, uh, you, you, all you could hear in the stadium, even even with the roof closed, all you could hear was people talking and so on and getting behind Ireland. The Wales crowd, uh, the Welsh supporters uh, went very quiet altogether. So again, that that Ireland Ireland proved well in the first half. They took took a fair bit of um, punishment uh, in the early stages of the second half. But then went on to come out very strong uh, towards towards the finish of the game to, as you rightly said, to get the bonus try and to get the five points uh, from the game, which would be which would be crucial uh, if we're to win the, the the Six Nations or to win the championship. That's it, and uh, like like I was saying there, um, it's it's things like that that inspire the, these young kids to take up rugby, and uh, where it all starts is mini rugby, and then moving on to. Uh, to youth rugby, then the Craig's under thirteens had a had a busy has a bit had a busy week as well as did the uh, and the the under fourteens uh, went down fourteen to seven, uh, the under sixteens as well and the under eighteens a busy week uh, as uh, at youth level for uh, Craig's rugby, but it's great to see and it's uh, and also we throw in the uh, unfortunately the CBS lost out to to the Maris out in, out in Craig's as well, but a lot learned by the the CBS as well. Yeah, just uh, before you leave Mini Rugby, we we have another major blitz. Uh, uh, no more than the schools, we'll have about three hundred uh, uh, ch- uh, boys and girls in Craig's on Saturday. Um, uh, yeah, we're hosting it for Connacht Rugby. It's a big competition for with clubs from all over all over the province. So that will be another huge day, huge organising, uh, great committee behind the. The mini rugby and every, it'll be all hands on deck with you know with with stewards with referees and all on uh, on Saturday in Craig's and as you rightly said like we we had a lot of teams out at youth level uh, over over last weekend uh, a lot of 
Nara, Nara, you know, we lost out narrowly, particularly in the under-18 girls to uh, away to Sligo. We lost out by two points. Um, again, that was, uh, you know, an important game. We had drawn the first game, so it just shows how tight the the two the two teams were. So that's the way the rugby goes. Uh, again, um, you know that. Uh, these teams will be a lot of these teams will be involved in cup competitions and uh, there's a lot of youth uh, friendlies uh, taking place at the moment at at this particular level to, to get ready for for the for the cup games we have another 16 and another 14 girls friendlies on uh on Sunday and we have also another 15 uh, semi final that Craigs will play Ballina um on on Sunday as well in 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 a semi final of the under 15 cup so that that will be uh, a ma- a major uh, day for that under fifteen team. We have two under fifty insides, and we will just like to see us co- overcoming uh, Ballina in 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 Craig's on on uh, on Sunday evening. But prior to that, there's um, there's going to be two uh, Connacht Youth League finals teams from outside the province. That uh, there will be the two games will be played on the. 4G pitch at 12 o'clock and at 2 o'clock on, on, on Sunday as well. So there'll be a lot of t- activity in, in, in the green uh, on, 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 on Sunday in Craig's. That's it. And it should attract, uh, the, the, I'm sure there'll be, it'll be, the place will be buzzing as well uh, at the weekend uh, with all that, with all that rugby going around, uh, obviously parents of, of the players and things like that. It's, it's great to see a bit of the great, the great buzz, um, you know, that these competitions uh, attract you know and the the buzz that 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 it creates around I suppose around the village as well because uh, you know that it's it's great to see all the activity and that and uh, people enjoying themselves and the parents uh, you know are are huge support to the players as well which is great to see and that that kind of drives the the players on then for the future. Absolutely, it and yeah, it's uh yeah, it's a it's a it's a big win for for the village as uh, a lot of these. Youngsters, they'll be spending the money around the village in Craig's and their parents, and you know, to, it's great to, to have the facilities. And now with the, that we're into February and have a bit of spring weather and uh, ground conditions are are improving considerably. So let's hope that that will continue towards towards the weekend and that we, uh, you know, again that we have a very dry weekend. That's it. And moving on to uh, the seconds, that uh, twenty-seven to twenty-seven draw against. Uchtarard. Um, I suppose given the opposition, because Uchtarard are uh, usually a very good side, a good result, or maybe was it a game? Maybe that Craig's could have won, or were they happy with with their performance all round? Or what, what's uh, what's your thoughts on that? Well, in the, the 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 first and second teams were were out at the weekend. There was at both games. The the first were the first were away to uh, Castlebar um, on Saturday evening. Uh, we had to just get a point out of that game. We actually won the game, and you know it was a tough, a tough game. Uh, Castlebar put it up to us. Castlebar had to get a point out of it as well in order to remain in the top uh, three. So both sides came away happy. We came away happy that we have won all our league games, so we haven't lost a league game at first level. So now uh, what's going to happen is that we go that we are top of the league, uh, then. When there's going to be playoffs in the top three, so the top, uh, the second and third team uh, will play off, and the winners of the second and third team, which is uh, Connemara and Castlebar, and the winners of that then will will play Craig's in a uh, in the league final, which will the league final will be held on the 26th of February in in the sports ground. So that will be a big day uh, for for Craig's um, on the 26th of February. So as well, you mentioned the seconds. I was over in Uchtarard on on Sunday, uh, a a great tough game. It was a seesaw. It it went both ways. Uh, Aiden, it uh, like Uchtarard started off very strongly, got a couple of tries. Craig's came back into the game and uh, was was very much in it after half time. The uh, Uchtarard had a player in the sin bin, but at the same time, Uchtarard went down the field and scored scored a try. And then Craig seemed to uh, uh, fall away for 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 a while in in the game, but for the last ten minutes they they upped their game again and came back and scored two fantastic tries. And they were they were 
going for the the another another final try only just at the far the pass the final pass was just slightly forward uh which would which would have won the game for Craig so it was lovely to see the them them uh, finishing off strong and the 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 thing about it is now that they have drawn Ugtarard in the final of the uh, of the cup as well so that game is is going to be uh, be played on the 12th of uh, of March so that would be another game that uh, Craig's will another final a cup final that Craig's will have to look forward to, uh, to. it will be a ding dong game uh, to be a hard one to call uh, between Craig's and Ugtarard in the final so. It'll be it. You know, Craig's would want to be on their game to 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 win it because the uh, Ogdor are uh, are strong in the forwards. They have a few uh, good out half uh, uh, and and a few lively backs as well. So you know, it'll, it, it Craig's Craig's will you know have to up their game from from last Sunday if they, if they want to win the cup game. And I suppose look, looking at Craig's themselves as well, like I mean that there's a, a nice mixture of youth and uh, and uh, experience in the second team, and indeed, well, we all know we all know how class the uh, the, the first team are. But I suppose looking looking forward to the following for the next couple of weekends, uh, uh, what the fixtures you you just mentioned there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as I said, we both, both teams have a break now with the internationals being on. And um, the you know as I said the the um, the uh, first will be out on the twenty sixth of February. Um, the uh, second side uh, they 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 don't know why, where they are in the table yet. They'll be involved in some playoffs in in the league table. Uh, so that that remains to be seen on the on who they're playing and the dates have, have to be fixed for that yet. So uh, again, there's a lot of rugby to to look forward to at club level. Uh, for the for the end of the season, and of course, look, looking across, uh, you know the 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 structure in in Craig's Rugby Club and all the semi finals and the finals that they're getting to, it's a huge tribute. It's a huge tribute to the the hard work that the coaches are putting in at all levels, because you know from mini rugby right up to the the first team, uh, you, you know these are teams. Obviously, you know the under four teams will be going up to the under sixteens, under sixteens up to the under eighteens. And of course, it all starts at uh, at mini rugby. So it's uh, it's great to see that and uh, the, to see the uh, the great work that the coaches are putting in. Oh, absolutely, and not, not alone that, but you know, you have first team players, you have senior coaches, you have you know uh, players and coaches at a higher level helping out the the youth coaches and mini rugby coaches, and that's great to see, and that's a great spirit, and as you say. No more than say the first or second team maybe looking up to Canada or looking up to Ireland. Uh, uh, they they look up to uh, the our first team and 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 to the players that's that's uh, playing on the first team. And it's great to see them giving something back at at this stage in their own busy schedule that they're able to find time to give 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 help to the coaches on mini or youth rugby. And uh, that takes us on to uh, like we said earlier on. Unfortunately, the, the CBS were bet by the Marist uh, there during the week, uh, but a, a good uh, a good performance. Uh, you know, it's good to see the CBS uh, being in this competition and uh, competing at this level. Yeah, there was very little in it. Uh, in uh, a massive turnout uh, from both schools, and uh, you know, it was a keenly contested game. It was a game that could have gone anyway. Uh, you know, just if certain decisions had gone. Uh, uh, the CBS way they could have won it, and that's the way games go. And uh, you know, the, uh, you know, you have to you have to take it um, whatever way it ends up. And it, it was again a, a narrow score, and all credit to the coaches and to CBS for uh, putting on such a performance against Maris. That's it, and uh, of course we all know the quality of players that Mar- Maris always have. Um, you know, and obviously some of them players will be probably playing for Buccaneers. We we'll go on to them as well. Um, but um, it's it's run on a group stage, so they can still uh, they can still the CBS can still do something uh, in, in the in in the cup. Yeah, well, you know, as I said, it, it, yeah, they're, they're, they'll be involved in some other competition within it, and uh, you know, as I said, you know, it's good it's good for CBS, it's good for CBS that they that they're able to feel at that level, and hopefully that you know the 
the what the good work that's going on between the CBS and Craig's Rugby Club, that uh, same uh, relationship and that there continues. It's it's very strong at, at present, and let's hope that that will continue because that will be the only way that these young lads will improve and, and improve their their rugby going forward. And moving on to uh, I suppose the AIL level there and Buccaneers, uh, they're in the the Bayman Cup final. That's a uh, the Bayman Cup semi final. They had a they had a forty five to twenty one um, or no they lost sorry uh, yeah forty five to twenty one against Queens Queens Universities and the thirds uh, go top as well uh, with a thirty one to fourteen win against Corinthians and of course there's uh, some um, there's some weekend fixtures coming up this weekend as well. Yeah, uh, Buccaneers. Uh, um, Ed, Eddie O'Sullivan uh, decided to rest the uh, the first team in in Buccaneers, and he he put out a lot of his unties. And uh, uh, from the second team, there was only a few of the played in the game. But at the same time, in the semi final Bateman Cup, and as you right to say, they're now they're now in the final of the Bateman Cup. So uh, that's that's uh, good for for Buccaneers. Uh, it's unfortunate that they were unable to to field their their second side against um, against Westport. Uh, that game will will have to be refixed. And their their third their third side out against Corinthians and their under twenties had uh, on Monday had had a, had a had a good win as well. So you know they 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 are they are going well. And you know that's the um, Eddie I think is concentrating very much on. Maybe getting another step up uh, for for Buccaneers first team in the AIL and maybe uh, getting up into the higher divisions. And of course, uh, congratulations to Harry West and uh, fin- Finley Bealham on uh, who uh, played their their parts in Ireland's under twenty and senior victories over Wales last weekend. That's um, you know it's it's great to see that as well. Local local players making a difference at that level. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like Harry West would have come through the underage structure in Ballina. He, uh, you know, he, a great to see him performing so well on the under, when he came on as a sub in the under twenties on, on the on last Friday night, and the film being uh, coming in for Ty Furlong, who's out injured at the moment, and we're playing now against France. He's, you know, he 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 just showed. Uh, uh, what what we think of him in Connacht that he he's well able to perform at the highest level and uh, all the the maybe me, national media and that there was was doubting how he's going to take over from such a formal player like Ty Furlong, but he 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 performed exceptionally well uh, against against Wales uh, last Saturday and we're looking forward to him. He it like uh, France have a big uh, big heavy. Physical uh, forwards, uh, and this will be a tough one this Saturday for for Phil and Beelan and and the and the front row and and the forwards in general. So it will be a different it'll be a different game. I would I wouldn't pass much heed on the on the France game against um uh I, I, against uh, Italy uh, last Sunday, but uh, there'll be a different team coming to uh coming to the Viva on on Saturday. You have the two top teams, uh, Ireland being the top team in world ranking and France being the second team. So you have the top two teams in the world rankings playing on Saturday. So it's going to be a big game for a quarter past two on Saturday. Uh, it's all to play for. That's it. And we'll be reading out the team. The team was announced today, so I'll be reading that out towards the end when we come to uh, covering the Ireland team again there. And on to Carrick Rugby Club. And uh, the under-13s, it said the headline is small Carrick. Uh, squad make uh, make big inroads in the season, and uh, that's great to see. Um, the Carrick and Shannon under thirteen squad recorded an impressive victory away to Ballinrobe in their um in their penultimate league game. Um, so we we covered the uh, the under thirteens up to, up to the first team as well, and uh, gee, they're, they're they're having a great season so far collectively from you know at all levels. Yeah, uh, more more so at underage level and youth level. Um, in they're they're going extremely well there, as I've said on this program, uh, before. There's a lot of great work uh, going on in in Carrick uh, uh, at that level, and it's it's bearing fruit. Uh, you know that they that they have won various trophies uh, over the last couple of years at uh, at underage uh, level, and you know it's it's 
it's great to see it, um, a team in Leitrim and Carrick and Shannon and that they're coming come, coming through within within Connacht. And you know, it's, uh, we have to appreciate the the difficulties. Like a lot of these lads are are, are coming from Gaelic backgrounds and parents been uh, been involved in Gaelic would wouldn't have played rugby in the past or. Uh, don't don't come from a, 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 a school that's playing rugby. There's no school actually uh, playing rugby within within uh, Leitrim at the moment. So uh, that's the that's the uh, uh, work that the coaches have to do from from scratch up, and it, it's paying off up through the up through the club. And Carrick uh, have a few big league games to, to still to play and. You know, uh, it's important that they that they do well in them in them league games. And of course, uh, finally uh, on this level, then we we'll, we uh, go on to Sligo. Obviously, you know, like we've said, it's a bedrock of um, it's a bedrock of talent when you consider the uh, the colleges that are there, the boarding schools, and that traditionally very very strong. And you know that that's very good for developing the players. And then when they go back to playing for their their um their clubs as well. Oh yes, uh, Sligo, Sligo have a you know a huge uh, advantage over a lot of rural clubs with the with the town, with the schools, with the with the with the regional college and all there for for both mini rugby and youth rugby and um, you know the big a big hinterland and tradition of uh, of rugby in in Sligo. So that's why that they are so strong that. Uh, Underage level and, and youth level uh, over over the years and uh, have won a lot of a lot of trophies at that level and in fact uh, you know quite a quite a number of players have come through for from Sligo to play uh, at Connacht level and at international level on the on the underage teams or on the youth teams in within within at national level. And uh, that takes us on nicely to Connacht, as we say. I suppose there isn't that much action when you consider Ireland are currently playing in the Six Nations. But any any little bits of news uh, on Connacht rugby at the moment? Well, I suppose at this stage, yeah, you have a lot of interpros uh, at at youth level going on, and particularly particularly at the women, and uh, they're they're taking place at the at at the, at the moment. Uh, uh, the, the most of these games now are being being run off at the. In, in Abbottstown, um, and you know it's it's a great it's a great opportunity for these young girls coming from all the various clubs within Connacht um, to within the interprovincials to you know prove prove themselves at a different level. So that's uh, really what's going on within within Connacht at the moment. It's a it's a, a busy time with running off a lot of finals, a lot of league finals, and uh, between clubs and schools and all there's a uh, heap of activity uh, throughout the province, and um, Connacht, um, Connacht on the professional side has has a break until the Edinburgh game on account of the international. So um, we, you know, as I said, this is a period that uh, take time out, and hopefully that they're coming back strong because they're going, they're still going to be involved in the in the in the two cup competitions. And that takes us on to uh, the Ireland at uh, the Irish. Uh... The Irish camp, obviously, they're at home. It's a, it's a very tough game, like we said earlier on in the podcast. Um, they're you know they're at home to France, but I think that is the key thing. It it is against France. France will obviously make make it hard for Ireland. Um, maybe a few things that that Ireland need to tidy up on from the Wales game. Maybe how, how it kind of finished. Maybe, but um, of course they're without uh they're without Sheehan as well for for this game, but. You know that they do. Ireland do have that strength and depth, and you know when when they do bring a player in, it doesn't seem to weaken the team at all because everyone is able to everyone is able to fill in for each other. Yeah, well, it's no harm in in one respect, uh, in that that uh, uh, that he has to stretch his uh, his panel um, because that like, going into the World Cup, as we have found out, uh, with a, a lot of big games coming uh, coming. Uh, very fast on top of one another in, in a World Cup series. Uh, you need to have a, a good panel of players, and this is the the Six Nations is a great opportunity to be able to introduce a number of of players. And he has been been his hand has been forced to to give more players a run now. So uh, let them let them take their opportunity because uh, at the end, at the end of the day, uh, 
they, this is a, a big stage. It's a big stage on, on Saturday for all the uh, Irish players, both the, the, the 15 that selected and, and the players that's on the bench that will have to come in. So, you know, it's, it's, it's very important. The bench is very important in a team to be able to finish out strong in the, in, in, in the end of a game. And I suppose it's better for, for these things to happen now in the Six Nations rather than, you know, coming up to uh, coming up to the World Cup or even during the World Cup where, you know, something like that, like that might cost them, like, you know, a very important player, we say, like a Bundyaki or that, uh, you know, a key player, you know, to do it, to, for it to happen now rather than, than in an important, I'm not saying that the Six Nations isn't important, but, uh, you know, it's better to happen now than, than during the World Cup, isn't it? But we just... Um, uh, just bear in mind there. We'll just go through the the starting uh, the starting fifteen and the substitutes for uh, for this weekend's game against France. Uh, number fifteen, Hugo Hugo Keenan. Uh, Fourteen, Mac Hansen. Thirteen, Gary Ringrose. Twelve, Stuart McCluskey. Uh, Eleven, James Lowe. Ten, Johnny Sexton. Nine, Connor Murray. And then on the other side, there's uh, number one, Andrew Porter. Rob Herring at number two, Finlay Bealham at number three, Ty Ty Byrne at number four, James Ryan number five, Peter O'Mahony uh number six, Josh Vander Fleer at number seven, and uh Keelan Doris at number eight. And then the substitutions. Um, you know, the cover on the bench isn't too bad either. You know, you have Ronan Kelleher, David, Dave Kilcoyne, Tom uh, Tom O'Toole, Ian Henderson, Jack Conan. Craig Casey, uh, Ross Byrne, and uh, Bundy Aki. So they, they've got cover on the bench as well as the starting 15. What are your thoughts on the, the starting 15 and the subs? Yeah, well, I suppose it's unfortunate that uh, we have a change at hooker from, from the Welsh game, but uh, good to see Robbie Kelleher uh, come, coming back from injury and that he's making his place on the bench. So um, uh, Rob Herring won't, won't last the game, but it would be great to have... Uh, Tell her there on the bench to 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 come in to into the game. So you know that's where that's where you need the cover and you need the players and you know that that's a very strong side. And as you rightly said, that the bench is as good as 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 there at the moment. There be there be no question. There's a, probably a few positions that you know um, you feel that you would feel that there's not a lot between players. There's probably not a, a lot between Stuart McCluskey and Bundyaki. Uh, Boniaki did did extremely well when he came on against Wales. You know, is he is he a better sub coming on to have him in in reserve, or is he a better player starting? That's uh, that's the question mark. And you know, Stuart McCluskey done nothing wrong against Wales, and he deserves to 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 be back in the in 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 the picture again. Yeah, is you know, it's uh, then the the out half position, the out halves. Um, you know, Johnny Johnny is there. Are, are, you know what Ross Berner have has come back. You know the cold. He was about fifth choice in the at the November internationals. Now he now he's back in the second choice. So is that the right decision uh, for going into the World Cup? He's the one that he's the one player that's on on form and playing extremely well for Leinster. And he's he's the one that's uh, the the player that is playing consistently for for Leinster in the absence of Johnny Sexton. And I suppose. He has the familiarity, seeing that there's so many Leinster players on the Irish team now. He has the familiarity uh, with the players that surrounds him as well on the team. And I suppose to uh, to to mention two other players that we'd love to see, uh, kind of on the international scene, uh, will be Luke Henshaw and uh, obviously Dennis Buckley, our own, you know, two local lads. It's a uh, it's a shame we're kind of like we're we're without them at the moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Robbie Hinshaw is a is a big loss. Uh, Robbie, Robbie, uh, yeah, ha- had an injury during the November internationals, and it's just taken a while uh, for for it to heal and for him to come back to full fitness. So uh, let, let's hope that Robbie uh, will be fit and well for the for the World Cup. I think he will, uh, but it's just uh, you know he's going to miss out now on on the Six Nations and. Um, you know, it's it's important. Uh, yeah, Dennis Buckley. Unfortunately, D- Dennis, um, the times that he was very close to making uh, with uh, making making his uh, 
getting a cap for, for Ireland. He, he, he was unfortunate to get injured for Connacht at the, at the wrong time. So, you know, that, that's the difficulty. Uh, that was the difficulty for Dennis. And, but it's great to see Phelan Beelan getting his opportunity now. And uh, like that, he, he, he barring injury, he, he's going to be there or thereabouts now for, for the starting World Cup team. That's it. Well, listen, thanks very much for taking the time out to do uh, to do uh, rugby view with us and we look forward to talking to you again next week. Thank you very much, Aidan. No problem. Thanks very much. And before we go, I'd just like to mention about uh, Ross FM's 50-50 draw that happens every fortnight. Uh, it's going to happen tomorrow week uh, is the next draw. If you want to take part, then you can uh, you can buy an envelope. It's one for two euro or three for a fiver. So why not support your local community radio station and buy one and uh, you you could be in with a chance of winning the the two uh that you could be in with a chance of winning the the prize next week so uh thanks very much everyone thanks very much adrian and we'll talk to you again next week thank you no problem thanks very much so so in cheers